folders can make a difference in your life. Within Drive, you can color code folders and you can really organize your classes, your personal, uh, your personal information, your graduate work, etc. and so forth. Things become really easy to find. So let's go to Google Drive and take a look. So I want you to take a look at some existing folders I have here. Underneath these folders, you can see various files that are in Drive, but not assigned to any particular, not assigned to any particular folder. Let's first explore some of my folders. We'll start with math. I'll double click the folder to open. Math, you see a couple subfolders. We have algebra one, algebra two, foundations, geometry and trigonometry. Let's explore geometry. Double click. Up top, you see some more folders, geometry assessments, geometry forms, geometry sheets, geometry posters, and other, you know, other uh, files related to geometry. Below are some files assigned to this folder, but not assigned to the subfolders up top. Let's go another layer deep and check the geometry poster folder. And here you see that we have one file assigned to this folder. Now, if you look above up here, you'll see how many layers deep I am within the original Google Drive. So we started at my drive, we went into the math folder, then we went into the geometry folder, and lastly we wound up in the geometry poster folder. This uh, geometry poster folder is bolded because that's the one that I'm currently in. If I click here at my drive, it'll take me back to that level. So let's double click. Now let's create a folder. There are two ways to create a folder. The first way is by simply right clicking. So I'll right click. And up here you see new folder. I can click this as the first way to create a folder. The second option is to go to new and I'll click folder. The first thing that's asked is for you to name the folder. So let's create an English folder. I'll type in English. Create. And here you have it up here. If you look at the color of the folder, it's gray. If I right click this folder, it'll give me an option to change the color. Let's make it bubblegum. And you see the color change right here. Now let's enter the folder. Double click. The folder is empty. Now I can upload files to this folder while I'm in it. You see right here I'm in the English folder. So let's go to new, file upload, go to my desktop, and here it says English research. So I'll, I'll enter this by double clicking. And I've just uploaded a file to the newly created English folder. I can also create a subfolder within this folder by again pressing new folder. Let's name this English Research Strategies. English. English Research Strategies, and I'll press create. And now you see the folder above. Let's color code it. Make it reddish. Let's look inside the folder. This is empty as well. We could add a file to this folder by drag and drop. Minimize. And I'll take this reading strategy tips and just drop it in here. And now you have reading strategy PDF within the English research strategies folder, which is within the English folder, which is in my drive. Expand. So let's look at top of the level of depth again. So we're within English research strategies. The next level would be English. And then we can go right back to my drive. So now let's move some files within drive. Excuse me. 
Below the folders up top, you can see a couple different files. Curriculum, foundations quiz, lesson plans. So this file right here is a curriculum rewrite. So I can simply take this file and drag it into the curriculum rewrites folder. And it's been moved and transferred. And it's quiz file. And we can move that to the foundations folder. Move to. I pressed right click, move to, select math, select foundations, press enter, and it's been moved. We'll double click math, go to the foundations folder, and there you have it, foundations quiz three. But while I'm within this folder, I notice something. I notice a phase change poster. This should be in the uh, chemistry folder. So I'll right click this and I'll move this to, I'll press move to. We'll go backwards because we're gonna go out of the foundations folder. So we'll go from foundations, we'll go out of math. We'll go back to drive, we'll go, with to, we'll go to chemistry. And now I'm within the chemistry folder. So I'll right click, excuse me. So I'll press enter, and that's been moved to the chemistry folder. Chemistry folder. And there it is, phase change poster. And you can also organize folders within folders by simply dragging and dropping. So if you look at these folders that I have above, I have a couple that are related to curriculum. I have here curriculum rewrites, I have curriculum development, and I also have uh, sequence maps. So I could take the curriculum rewrites folder and take this whole folder and drop it into curriculum development. And also take this sequence map folder and also drop that within curriculum development. So now we're back to the PowerPoint. And I just wanna say that the best way to probably learn something is to go out there and actually try yourself. So, you know, go into your Google Drive and create some folders and, and move things around. That's probably the best way you could learn this. But in the meantime, I wanna say thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series. Search and utilize Google Drive 